All right. So if you want to use your stick for check-in, you can have that. We'll line ourselves vertically uh, using the stick, feeling your three points of contact, the back of your head, your middle of your spine, and your tailbone. Drawing your chin in at the top rather than tilting it back, feeling a string like pulling up your top of your head, lengthening your body. If you wish, you can close your eyes. Draw yourself into your body. And then begin to focus on your breath. Seeking to release tension with those exhales. And bring in relaxation with each inhale. If you find any tense spots, you can uh, address those specifically with your breath. Whether it's a physical thing, an emotional thing, or something else. You need to change your arm position. You can accommodate yourself doing that. One arm gets tired. Just attending to whatever you think your body's gonna need as you get ready to start moving. And then for the rest of the day, We'll do two more breaths like this. And after that last breath, if your eyes are closed, you can open them. And then we will start with the hinge. So if you want to use a stick for this, you can. Yeah, we're just going to pivot through our pelvis, feeling those three contact points, taking ourselves as far as we comfortably can while maintaining those spots. So you go down to that furthest position and then right back up again. Keeping our knees soft but straight so you can feel that stretch. That stretches the feedback that your body is in a good position throughout your spine. Just focus on being smooth. You don't have to go fast. Nor do you have to go slow. Just want to be in control of the movement. One more. We'll bring that stick out in front. <clears throat> Holding it at shoulder height, we're just gonna start with a twist. So again, keeping the shoulders down, we're just gonna pivot with our feet, look for something behind us and turn and twist from side to side, maintaining the good alignment you just created with your spine. Again, focusing on smooth and fluid motion. Challenging yourself at that end range in each direction. One more to each side. And then you can let your arms down, shake it loose a little bit. Move to a side lean next. So again, watch overhead. The stick up, the shoulders are down and relaxed. And then we're just gonna tilt from side to side, keeping that same arm position with the stick. Again, finding that end range that works for you and then coming back over to the other side. Again, worrying about the fluidity of the movement more than how fast or how slow it is. Just experiment with those end ranges for yourself. 
focusing on your breath as you do so. We'll do one more to each side. And then we'll let our arms down. You swing will be next. So it'll be the same footwork we just did with the twist, where we're gonna drive that stick up to the ceiling in front of us and then swing under and up to the other side, pivoting our feet so our hips are allowed to turn and open. Coordinating your breath with this movement as well. One more to each side. And again, you can let your arms drop and relax. So we're gonna do a stepping sequence with the stick. We're gonna step forward with each step forward. <clears throat> we're gonna to twist to that side. So as I step with my right foot, I'm gonna to twist to the right. I'll come back, step with the left foot and then twist to the left. So right with the right foot, left with the left foot. Again, just trying to coordinate a smooth transition from one foot to the other, and then swinging from one side to the other. Give me a side view of this. One more on each side. And then dropping the stick down, give your arms a rest. Same concept, we're going to step backward and we're going to side lean. So with the arms up above, I'm going to step back and I'm going to lean in the direction of that step again. Come back to standing, step back with the opposite leg and then lean to that side. So with the step back to the right, I lean to the right. As I step back to the left, I also lean to the left. So I'll give you another side view of this. Again, the step can be as large or as small as you'd like. So just kind of judge it based on your balance and how well you're doing that side lean with it. And just be as smooth as you can. We'll do one more on each side. And then we can drop the stick down one more time. This time as we do the U-swing, we'll sidestep. So as I sidestep to the right, I'll U-swing to the right. As I sidestep to the left, I'll use swing to the left. If you wanna add a, a balance challenge on each foot, you can do that, or you can just toe touch as you desire. Just give yourself a little variety. Side view in here. Nice and smooth. One more on each side. Very good. So you can have your sticks ready. You'll need your handheld weights, a band if you have that, and that should be all you'll need for now. So as we did it on Tuesday, we'll do it the same way. So we have groups of movements that we'll do using different pieces of equipment but we'll take them in uh, little bits at a time so we don't get overwhelmed uh, with any one thing. So we'll start with the handheld weights. It'll be wide stance, front cross. So again, it'll be this movement. So I start with the body in the letter X. I'm gonna cross and hinge and then come back up to the standing position. Okay, so you're gonna feel that stretch like what we did in the warm up or in the prep. So you have the option of using any weight you want or no weight. <clears throat> I'll start with the side view. We'll start in five seconds here. Good straight body in three, two, and one. Here we go. Hinging and shifting the hips. And then right back up. The elbows stay straight. 
keeping those three points of contact through your spine. And then keep that breath going. Five more seconds here. Two, one, and arms down. Two arm curl and press. So again, both arms together. We're gonna curl together, rotate, and then press overhead. Rotate and then curl back down. We'll start in 10 seconds. Again, always worried or considering your alignment as you go through this process. We'll start in three, two, and one. Here we go, curl, rotate, and then press. Again, it might feel a little choppy with the movement, but we're just trying to dampen that out and smooth it out. The speed is up to you as long as you're controlling the movement in both directions. Ten more seconds. Three, two. And one, could place the weight over to the side. We're gonna grab our bands next. And we'll place the band around our feet or our ankles. So the first movement, we'll do the, the legs with the band and then the next movement, we'll do the upper body. So again, all we're gonna do here is gonna be a non-alternating side raise. So you can be in a balanced position. We're just gonna raise from one side up and back, keeping tension on the band. Starting in three, two, and one. Here we go. Seeing how well you can create stability with that support leg, as well as the leg that you're trying to raise to the side. Three, two, and one, and then shake everything out. We'll repeat that same thing on the other side. <clears throat> Starting in three, two, and one. Here we go. Same exact movement, just switching up legs. Still breathing, of course. <laughs> 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. We'll take the bands off the feet. We'll move to the arms. So you can secure that band anywhere between your wrist and your elbows. We're gonna keep the elbows in and at 90 degrees with the palms in an up position. And then we're just going to externally rotate the arms as much as we can without shrugging the shoulders up. Starting in three, two, and one. Here we go. Draw those shoulders down as well as you can. Or you can do an isometric hold at that furthest tension point. So you can have some options. You can only pulse it and just pulse it. Keep breathing no matter what. 10 more seconds. Three. Two and one, place that band off to the side and we'll grab our sticks. So do a same twist mo movement as we did in the warm up, but this time we'll cross, we'll do a twist and cross up. So as I go to the left, my right arm swings up. As I go to the left or right, my left arm swings up. Center of the stick stays at about collarbone or heart height. We'll start in five seconds. 
in two, one, here we go. So since we're twisting, we're still looking for something behind us to help our body turn. Nice and tall with the spinal position still. Inhale and exhale. Fifteen seconds left. Three, two, and one. Arms down, shake it loose. So we're going to raise and lower the stick into the overhead position. But as we do that, we're going to apply pressure to the center of the stick. So our elbows will stay straight. We're going to try and push hard to the center and then raise up to overhead and then lower back down. Here we go in three, two, and one. Apply pressure and begin to raise and lower those arms. And we want to be cognizant of our posture as we do this again. Inhale and exhale as you go. 15 more seconds. Three, two, and one. You can place your sticks off to the side. We are going to go to the floor next. We'll be on our back. And we're going to do scissor kicks. So we're just going to crisscross our legs from side to side. <clears throat> we'll start in uh, five seconds. In three, two, and one. Here we go. Split and then cross. Split and then cross. You can keep your legs low to the floor or keep them up high. If you need to support your back, have your hands under your pelvis. Halfway. Three, two, and one. And we'll roll over on our stomachs for a plank. If you can't be on the floor with this, then just go up to a sturdy object and lean against that. You can use your hands and your feet, hands and knees, elbows and feet or elbows and knees. We'll start in five seconds. Just a static hold, planking in three, two, and one. Here we go. Holding those three contact points through your spine and continuing to breathe. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one. And we'll come up onto our feet. Leg work will be next, and we'll do a squat. So you can do all of these movements as before, with or without weight. <clears throat> so load up as you prefer. <clears throat> Start a squat in about five seconds here. In three, two, and one. Here we go. So think about keeping the body up as we set our hips down. Feet remain flat throughout the whole range of motion.
10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. To that squat, we'll add a crossover lunge. So we'll intersperse a crossover lunge with each squat. Again, you can use weight if you'd like. <clears throat> Might wanna lighten up a little bit to accommodate the lunge movement. Starting in three, two, and one. Squat, followed by crossover lunge. Squat, crossover lunge to the other side. Trying to keep our shoulders, hips, knees, and toes pointing straight ahead during that lunge position, just like we are with the squat position. The straighter you keep it, the more rotation you'll feel as you drop your hips down. 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. Catch your breath, grab a drink. Back to our handheld weights, upper body movement. So we're gonna pivot or twist and then uh, punch or reach. So as I twist to my right with my left arm, I'm gonna punch. As I pivot to my left, I'm gonna punch with my right arm. So again, we wanna resist the temptation to shrug as we extend that arm out and away. So use as much weight as you desire. We'll start in, uh, let's see, we'll start in five seconds. In three, two, and one. Very active with the feet, big reach with that arm in each direction. Coordinate that breath with your movements. Fifteen more seconds. Three, two, and one. Alternating arm curl and press. So we'll alternate the, the movement we did to begin. One arm goes down as the other arm goes up each extending as far away from the other as possible. <clears throat> Again, we just wanna go with fluid motion here. We'll start in five seconds. In three, two, and one. Here we go, curl, rotate, and reach. And as that arm comes down, the other arm goes up, and then we're off to the races. Again, still mindful of your posture as you do this. We're not adjusting that to accommodate the motion. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one. Weights down, we'll get our bands. So we're gonna do separately one leg at a time. So put the, the band around the ankle of one leg and then you'll stir it, it around the foot of the other leg. And we're just gonna press back. So with or without a toe touch, you're just gonna press back, pushing that heel as far back as we can. So if you wanna be in single leg balance, you can do that or you can toe touch. We'll start in five seconds. In two, one, here we go. Still breathing as we concentrate on the motion. Ten.
10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. And we'll switch the band position on our feet. We'll repeat that same motion again, starting in five seconds. In two, one, here we go. Stay relaxed, create as much extension as you can. 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. Placing that band off to the side, we'll grab our sticks and we'll do a propeller twist. So again, the center of the stick will stay at about heart level. And then we're just gonna rotate that stick in a clockwise and counterclockwise fashion. How you do that is up to your shoulders. Stay mindful of your spinal position. We'll start in five seconds. Anchor those feet, two, one, and here we go. Nice and tall with the body, and then rotate that stick. Ten seconds left. Three, two, and one. And arms down, shake it loose. We're going to go back to a twist. So it's what we did in the, the prep. So it's this motion. But what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and pull hard from the center of the stick. So we're creating a lot of tension in the upper body pulling from the center, and then we'll rotate from side to side. Here we go in three, two, and one. And begin your twist. Again, use those eyes to guide and look for something behind you. Pivot those feet. Just creating a little bit of a nuance on this motion. Applying pull pressure from the center of the stick. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one. Stick off to the side. We'll go back to the floor again. So as we go to the floor, we'll be on our side. And we're going to do a Jane Fonda leg raise. So a top leg raise. So we'll do that on each side. Pick which side you want to be on. Bottom arm and leg are as straight as you can keep them. We'll start in five seconds. In two, one, here we go. Again, shoulders, hips, knees, and toes, all points straight ahead. Trying to resist the temptation to rotate that top leg up as we raise it up. That toe should be pointing straight ahead, almost like you're leading with the heel. Ten seconds left. Three, two, and one. And we'll roll to the other side. In that bottom leg and arm are straight. Top leg raise in five seconds. In two, one, here we go. Still breathing, of course.
15 more seconds. Three, two, and one. And we'll roll on to our backs. Again, if you need back support, place your hands under your hips. We're gonna do leg raises. So both legs together, raising up and down. You judge the range of motion as it works for you. We'll start in five seconds. In three, two, and one. Here we go. Both legs moving together up and down. Fifteen more seconds. Three, two, and one. Rolling to one side, push yourselves up. We'll come up onto our feet. And we're on to legs. So skateboarder lunge and reach. So I'm gonna swing my right leg and then I'm gonna drop my right hand down to the floor. And then I'll switch to the left leg swing and left arm reaching down to the floor. And then we'll alternate sides. Skateboarder lunge and reach. We'll start in five seconds. Smooth transition from one side to the other. Two, one, here we go. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one. Shake everything out. Alternating backward diagonal lunge. So as I step back, I keep my weight on my front leg, but I'm going to swing that leg out to the side, come back up, and then reach out to the other side with the opposite leg. It's just a light touch with that back foot. Alternating legs will start in five seconds. Use weight as you need. Two, one, here we go. That front foot stays flat to give you stability. Then just a light touch with that Backward step. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one. Shake it loose, grab a drink. And we'll start at the beginning. So with handheld weights, we're going to do a reverse curl. So our palms will be pointing behind us. Reverse curl, rotate to reverse press. Okay, so with or without weight. The same amount of weight will feel a little bit heavier just because we're leveraging ourselves to be weaker. We'll start in five seconds. Watch your posture. Two, one, here we go. Reverse curl, rotate, reverse press. <clears throat> the hand rotation occurs at shoulder height, <clears throat> both on the upward movement and the downward movement.
10 seconds left. Three, two, and one. Very good. Helicopter twist. <clears throat> so we're gonna keep our arms out in an isometric position. We're trying to reach as far as we can with each arm. If you want weight in hand, you can. And then we're gonna just twist again, like we've been doing. All right, but the, the goal is to hold the arms up in that same position and then just rotate the body from there. <clears throat> we'll start in five seconds. In two, one, here we go. Keep those shoulders down as you extend the arms out and away. Fifteen more seconds. Three, two, and one. And arms down, weight off to the side. Grabbing our bands. So again, we'll put the band around our legs. So we're gonna do a squat. So we want the, the band to be somewhere around our knees. It can be either just above or just below. And we're trying to resist the pull of the band bringing our knees together. So if you wanna use weight for this as well, to sit and stand, you can do that. But the focus is really on what's happening with the band in our knees. We'll start in five seconds. In two, one, here we go. Hips stay over knees, knees stay over toes, or feet, I should say. Keep breathing. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one. We'll remove the bands from our legs. Bring them up to our arms. So we'll do the external rotation like we did in the beginning. Last time we had palms up, this time we'll do palms down. Everything else is the same, keeping the elbows in, keeping it 90 degrees, not too far down, not too far up. The band can be anywhere between your elbow and your, your wrist. Keep those shoulders down. We'll start in five seconds. It can be an isometric hold or an out and in. Two, one, here we go. Focus on externally rotating your shoulders. So try to imagine what's happening in your shoulders more than what's happening with your arms where the band is. Make the focus occur in your shoulders. You have to really be dialed into your posture with this as well. So we're just keeping our chin drawn in. We're not jutting it out to try to create range of motion. 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. Very nice. Band can go to the floor. We're going to grab our sticks. Twist and cross down this time. So as we twist to the left, my right arm swings down or under. As I go to the right, my left arm swings down and under. 
It's the same body movement we're doing quite a lot today. So focus on good footwork, using your eyes to turn and looking for something behind you. Here we go in three, two, and one. Test your end range of motion. You should feel really warm and limber from everything we've been doing. So experiment with those end ranges. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one. Shaking it loose. With the sticks, we're going to do an arc swing. So basically what we're going to do is uh, kind of make it an exaggerated side lean. So I'm going to swing all the way down to the floor on one side come up and over and swing all the way down to the other side. You can see how my feet are pivoting to allow that stick to be lowered down to the floor. Okay, we'll start in five seconds. A lot of motion happening here. Two, one, and here we go. Again, just focus on fluid motion. So we're lowering our hips to go down to one side and then we come up and the lower the hips to go down on the other side, pivoting our feet at the same time. There's a lot of complicated stuff happening here, so just protect yourself as you need to, but experiment with what you can do. Ten more seconds. Three, two. And one, you can place that stick off to the side. We will go back down to the ground and we'll be on our backs. Hip rolls. So one leg at a time is gonna swing up and over. Arms can be out to the side. We wanna keep our shoulder blades kind of pinned to the floor or anchored to the ground. We'll start in five seconds. Pick which leg you want to start with and then alternate. Two, one, here we go. Inhale and exhale. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one. And we'll roll onto our stomachs. We'll stay on our stomach. We'll be in a superhuman reach, or you can keep your arms to your sides. Mindful of three points of contact, and we're just going to flutter our legs. We'll start in five seconds. In three, Two and one. Here we go. No matter what, we're keeping those shoulders drawn down and back. Resisting the temptation to shrug our shoulders. Feeling the lengthening of our spine. Still breathing in this position. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one. And we're up on our feet. <laughs> With or without weight, it'll be alternating lateral lunge. So we're gonna step out to the side, drop down, come up, step out and drop down. So again, if you want weight for this, you can. Shoulders, hips, knees and toes stay straight ahead. The feet stay flat. 
We'll start in five seconds here. Pick the side you want to go and then alternate from there. Two, one, here we go. Keep breathing. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one. Back to our friend, the squat, and we'll add a toe raise to that. So as we sit, come up to the standing position, we'll come all the way up onto our toes. So we want to kind of exaggerate that motion on the way up onto our toes, and then as we come back down. Try not to rush through that part of it. We'll start in five seconds. Two, one, here we go. Looking good. It's hard to get on your toes like that sometimes. 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. Catch your breath, grab a drink. Do just a little bit more here. So as we resume, it'll be alternating reverse arm curl and press. So we did both arms at the same time where we reversed on the curl and the press. Now we'll do it in an alternating fashion. So it'll be a serious brain twist this time, not just with your arms. Again, you're a little weaker in this position. So use weight accordingly. Challenge yourself appropriately. Start at 10 seconds. Stand tall. Anchor your feet, three, two, and one. Here we go. And then as one arm comes down, the other arm goes up, and then we're alternating from there. So slow it down so you can feel the coordination and then just let your body take over with the pace as it's ready. Focus on smooth and deliberate motion. Your body will take care of the rest. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one. Very good. In a wide stance, it'll be a dog diagonal alternating high pull. So it's kind of like the lawnmower pull. So we're going to reach down, pull up, reach down to the other side, and pull up. And then we'll just alternate from side to side. <laughs> We'll start in five seconds. Feet stay flat the whole time. Two, one, here we go. Same thing, smooth transition, smooth motion. Keep that elbow higher than the weight to signify that you're pulling up. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one. Very good. Weight down to the floor. Grabbing our bands. <clears throat> so you can keep the band around your ankles or around your toes. Probably around your ankles this time would be best. Again, this will be non-alternating. We're just gonna do an arc swing. So as we balance on one leg, we're just gonna 
swing the opposite leg around that support leg, okay? That can be as far out and wide as you'd like. So you can challenge your balance a lot with this if you'd like. We'll start in five seconds, pick your legs. Two, one, here we go. Again, find where your challenge points are and try to challenge that challenge point. <laughs> Overcome those little obstacles because they're always there, even if we're not aware. 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. Awesome, same thing, repeat it on the other leg. We'll start that in five seconds. In two, one, here we go. Keep breathing, 15 more seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, bands are off the legs. We'll bring them up to our arms. So we're going to keep constant tension on the band so you can have it again anywhere from your elbows to wrist. Keep constant tension. Then we're just going to use swing from here like we've done with the stick. Okay. But we're trying to hold constant tension as we do this. <clears throat> you be mindful of your posture and your shoulder position. We'll start in three, two, and one. Here we go. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one. Okay, good enough. Catch your breath, grab a drink if you like it. Let's do a brief cool down of sorts. So just shake everything loose. Recapture your breath. Okay. So we'll start, we'll walk our fingers down our legs as we do that. We're gonna let our knees bend so we can get our fingers as far to the bottom as we can. We'll get to that bottom point, keep our fingers there. Then we'll try to straighten our knees gently. Hold that furthest position that you can tolerate it. Then let your knees drop your hips down. Walk your fingers a little bit further down toward the floor and then straighten your knees one more time. Hold it there for a moment, take a breath or two. Bend your knees, drop your hips, and then walk your fingers back up. And then when you're in that standing position, high knee step, keep that blood moving. Don't want to get lightheaded. Here we go. Very good. So from here, we'll get into a lunge position. <clears throat> We're going to try to push this right or this with my left leg forward, my front knee, I'm gonna push as far forward as I can. 
push this back heel back. Then I'm going to raise my arms up. If my left leg is forward, I'm going to lean to my left. If your right leg is forward, lean to your right. And we're just going to try to positionally hold this. It might feel a little shaky or wobbly. That's okay. Trying to push that front knee forward and the back heel back. And then come back up to the straight position, arms down, step forward, shake it loose. And then we'll reverse your leg position. So opposite leg forward and back. <clears throat> Find that position that is stable for you. Press that front knee forward, that back heel back, then raise the arms up. And then lean in the direction of that forward leg. Still able to breath, breathe in these positions. We're not holding our breath. And we'll come back to upright. Arms down, step forward, shake it loose. And then we'll just raise the knee up and then out and down and then alternate up, out and down. Just trying to work that range of motion. No breath holding here, just breathing. One more time on each leg. Then we'll clasp the arms behind the back. <clears throat> and then pull down. Again, as we pull down, we're not sending our, our chin forward. We're keeping our chin drawn in, thinking of those three contact points. <clears throat> And then release and shake it loose. The big deep breath in, reach up. And exhale, arms out and down. And we will call that done for this morning.